Well, there you have it, guys. MTX Thunder 225HO. Shaking the walls here in Old School Stereo Labs. Putting out... What's up guys, Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com, back with another amplifier test here today. We have the MTX Thunder 225HO. Yes, my friends, this is the amp that had the Orion 225HCCA blush turn even more red than it already was. Embarrassed it. Anyway, we wanted to find out a little more about this amp. Let's check out some of the other ohm loads and see how much power this baby can really put out. So stay tuned, check out the test, and hold on to your hats. Here we have the MTX Thunder 225HO. We're gonna run an eight ohm mono test certified, which is gonna simulate a four ohm stereo test. As you can see here, we got the video sped up a little bit. The amp put out 103 watts at 14.16 volts. So not bad, not bad at all. All right, and here we go with the four ohm mono test. Amp is rated at 100 watts at 12.5 volts. See how it does. Oh yes, easily beating that. 192 watts at four ohms. And now we have the two ohm mono certified test. Let's check it out, see how it does on the dyno. Rated at 200 watts. Yeah boy, 369 watts. Can this amp do even more power? Stick around to find out after a quick note from our sponsor. Thank you those who can support us. And if you'd like to support us, check out patreon.com slash old school stereo and you can get access to behind the scenes footage, including extended footage from this video, as well as others that not everybody gets to see. So if you like to join the club, check us out, patreon.com slash old school stereo. Thanks for your support. All right, guys, and here we have the one ohm mono test. This is where this amp really shines. Let's check it out. It's rated at 400 watts at 12.5 volts. We're feeding it a little bit more than 12.5 but it's giving us a lot more than 400. Check that out, 561 watts at 13.14 volts. Incredible. Now we're gonna do a one ohm mono test using the dynamic power mode. And this amp is rated at 600 watts at 14.4 volts using this method. As you can see, it easily beats that without even 14.4 volts, 728 watts at one ohm at 14 volts. All right guys, and just for fun, we're gonna do the half ohm mono test in dynamic mode. Just to extract the most power we can out of this ant. We'll see how much this baby can do. Fire it up, Big D. 969 watts check that out at half an ohm at 14 volts almost a thousand watts from a 50 watt amp gotta love the cheetos all right guys there you have it the mtx thunder 225 ho on old school stereo.com test bench laying down some big numbers 969 watts at half an ohm at 14 volts Pretty incredible from a 50 watt amp, right? Yep, that's old school for you, my friends. So what we wanna do in the near future is we'd like to get one of those AMM ones from Demore Engineering and SMD. We're gonna save up our uh, change, you know, and grab one of those. That way we can actually see how much power these amps are putting out to the speakers, because that device is really unique, it'll do that. 
and uh, we want to check that out because I know a lot of you guys use clamps and that, that's really not accurate so we're going to do the accurate way and uh, check it out with some subs in the future. So this is Big D Wiz. More amplifier tests coming soon. Make sure you're subscribed. Until next time, you got it. I'm out of here.